guys and welcome to a new video chat sounds good it's S7H with me and today we are going to take a look at the SAC 23 ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7H. this ROM the first time today and so I have tried the ROM the first time and I thought that this ROM is a basic S8 port just like any other S8 uh, port for the Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge but this here is really special so it is a ROM which is really feature packed it has a lot of features and it has a lot of uh, customization options and the ROM control and the SAC uh, 23 settings app there we are going to take a look at that one later but performance wise and all that it's just like any other S8 ROM you know it has the same um, the same performance the same battery life and all that so you won't have a, a, a really bad battery life or um, some lags you won't face to any lags and yeah so now let's take a look at this ROM so as I've already said this here is a S8 port a Galaxy S8 port and this means that you will get everything from the Galaxy S8 so you will get the Galaxy S8 settings you will get the Galaxy S8 apps the S8 animations and all basically all S8 features you can see also get the S8 style um, Google widget there and yeah you can see also get the um, S8 uh, dialer here you also have this video calling uh, thing there but unfortunately I can't test it out for you so sorry for that um, you also have um, call uh, recording which is also really nice to have and yeah, you can also see that you have a new animation when you open an app or if you close an app as you can see if you open the phone app you can see that the app opens from the icon and it also goes back to this icon here yeah here on the home screen you can see it also has this S8 launcher on board and it also looks really similar to all other S8 launchers but this one here is a bit different. So if you open the uh, app drawer from here you can see I still have you still have the same uh, gesture here but the thing is if you close the, recent, uh, if you close the um, app drawer here you can see there is a small bug there so you can see the colors don't match there but you know it's a small bug and it shouldn't annoy you that much. Um, Another thing which is different here in this launcher is that if you go into the settings of this launcher here you can see you have something called manage app badges and here you can basically enable or disable the notification badges for all apps you can uh, um, enable or disable the notification badges for Gmail for example or Facebook if you have inst installed it and all that so it's a really nice uh, feature to have and uh, yeah, for example, if you don't care for the uh, notifications from YouTube, you can basically disable this here and you won't see the notification badges anymore. So it's a nice feature to have. But this is still not everything. So if we get into this menu again here, here at the right corner, you can see it says something like special settings. If we get in there, it will basically bring you to the ROM control of this app, uh, of this ROM. And here you can um, basically customize your uh, launcher. So here you can enable or disable rotation. You can change the transition animation of your um, launcher. Of, as you can see, it's set to accordion right now. And as you can see, it has this nice animation here and uh, right you can also change the speed of the animation yeah so here in the uh, color section you can basically change the text color of the apps so if you select something like red and here you can see the app labels are red now you can also change the color of the of the um, of the app door so now it should be orange as you can see you got an orange background which looks also really funny there and yeah so you also get something called blur settings so here you can change the blur scale of the app drawer so you can say zero and after that you can see it hasn't got any blur anymore and you can also say uh, hundred percent here and after that you will you can see it is totally blurred out now and yeah you also get some small gestures just like Nova Launcher so if you pinch into the screen or if you double tap and all that you can basically set some actions and yeah so this is it in the launcher. 
So this ROM has got uh, has also got the Smart Manager on board. We all know that Samsung had removed the Smart Manager in Android Nougat, but together with this ROM, you get uh, the Smart Manager again. So here you basically get. Um, all the standard features just like in android marshmallow or in the note 7 or in the galaxy s8 actually so here you can see the ram usage and as you can see it uses like two gigabytes of the whole ram which is about the half so um you know it's not the best uh it's not the best ram usage but it's still very good so it uses like the half if you use if you play games or um, or do something similar to that it will basically it will be more than two gigabytes but still it's quite okay there and uh, yeah so here in the app drawer you can basically see that you got a few extra apps on this ROM so um, here you can see you got the game tuner on board to get something called IMS settings unfortunately I don't know what this exactly is so maybe you do um, yeah, of course you get the Magisk Manager um, for root and all that, and you also get the M Tweaks, which is basically something similar to a uh, kernel manager. So you can basically overclock your phone using that, I guess. I'm not quite sure. You also get the S Voice and the ROM Control. So let's get into the ROM Control here. So here in the ROM Control, you get. Um, so many options so uh, i won't show you everything here because there are so many uh, customization options but now let's take a look at uh, the best of these so here on the left slider here you can see you got a quite few options you get options for the lock screen for the status bar for the notification panel for the recent apps and all that so there are a lot of uh, customization options available here in the lock screen um, what you can see that you get uh, sm some standard stuff like uh, lock screen rotation so if you enable this one you can basically rotate your phone in the lock screen so you can see now you got uh, the lock screen in landscape mode which is quite funny and you can also enable all these quick unlock things for the password for the pin and all that which is also really nice you can also change the color of uh, the clock of the date of the, uh, of the time and all that you can also change the size of it you can um, yeah you can also change the color of the keypad which is also really nice so the keypad of the lock screen and uh, yeah so now let's move on to the status bar mod so here in the status bar mod you can basically change um, all the colors of all the icons so, so let's uh, enable this one here first and now let's uh, change the Wi-Fi icon color so now let's select something like um, select blue maybe and as you can see we got the blue icon there focus please come on yeah you can see the Wi-Fi icon is blue now so it's quite funny to play with it here and uh, yeah you can do the same with the battery uh, here so it has this three minute battery um, on board which I personally don't like that much but uh, some people of you may do so um, get a lot of battery um, status styles here which is also quite funny and yeah here also gets the battery um, battery bar at the top you can see you can uh, make it thicker you can make, make it thinner and all that you can change the color of it and yeah so now let's come to the best part of the notification panel. So here in the notification panel you can do so many things. So here you can um, change the text colors and all that. You can see the, uh, the, the clock there, the dates there, the settings icon and all that. You can basically change everything here. So here you can change the settings icon color. Let's say something like... Um, yeah, let's set it to red and you can see it looks red it's red now so you can change everything here which is really amazing you can change the um take the the color of everything um now let's move on and here you get something called matrix effect which is really funny or really strange so here you can just set some random colors first so let's do that quickly and here you can see this matrix effect which looks really really strange you know I don't, I'm not quite sure if you would use it but you know it's uh, really funny to play with it here you can change the text size of the uh, fonts there and all that and yeah you can also add um, a different color instead of a matrix there so you can uh, 
for example sets a color maybe blue here you can see everything has got blue here so you get the blue background you can do the same with an image and yeah so here in the recent apps section you get almost the same thing so here in the recent apps section you can enable or disable this RAM usage there at the top you can also um, change the background of the recent apps panel you can change it to a color here maybe like maybe something like blue here you can see you got blue background here you can do the same with an image again so it's really nice to have all these features and yeah so the last big thing about this ROM here or the last thing which I really liked about this ROM is that you can change the actions of each key. So here, here we got the recent key for example and can basically change the action of the recent apps key. So if you say something like um, screen off, you can see the screen will just turn off if you press the recent apps button. So you can basically remap all the buttons which I personally really like and you can do the same with double tap actions and all that which is really amazing in my opinion so yeah so this should be it now let's oops now let me show you how to install this rom to your samsung galaxy s7 or s7 edge so first of all you of course need to download the rom so um you can basically download it from the description of this video and you also need twrp recovery installed on your device after that you can basically turn off your device first so let's do that quickly here and after the device is turned off you need to press the volume up button the home button and the power button at the same time Here you need to do a wipe first, so let's do that quickly. After that go to the install option and locate your ROM. In my case it's in the internal storage. And where is the ROM? Here it is, just press on it and swipe to flash. So now we are in the aroma installer, you just need to agree here and say next. Here you have the um, change log of the ROM, say next again. Here I would recommend you to do a full wipe, say next again. Here you can ch choose your root method, I would like to um, root my device using Magisk, say next, say next again, or if you want to have knocks you can basically tick this there, um, say next, here you can change your emojis, I would like to have the iOS emojis because I hate the Samsung emojis, say next and say next again and now the ROM will just install. So this could take a few minutes, you just need to wait. So the installation process is now completed, you need to press next again and say finish here. Here you can uh, reboot now or you can basically, um, I mean you can press on yes to reboot or no to stay in TWRP so I would like to say yes now and after that you just need to wait until your phone boots up. As you can see the phone boots up now and it asks for your SIM pin so you just uh, set up uh, given your, your pin and after that you just need to set up your phone so um, this was basically it so if you liked the video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like the video give a dislike and peace out.